we go. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Apparently, I didn't have a very good network connection there for a minute. Uh, good morning to and uh, welcome to my morning, Monday morning motivation. I hope you all had an awesome weekend. Uh, we didn't really do too much because we drove back from Calgary on on Wednesday. The girls and I drove back from Calgary on Wednesday. And then Thursday, we just kind of hung out at home. We didn't really do too much. Um, Friday, we went to town. I went to town on Friday morning by myself, which was really weird because that never ever happens. I uh, had a couple things to do, some running around to do, bank, um, registry, because it was the last, the last Friday of the month. And of course I'm like, I'm driving into town and I'm almost to the bank and I'm like, oh no, it's going to be crazy because it's the last Friday of the month. Oh my goodness. Like, here we go. Right. But it wasn't, it was actually really good. I got into, uh, I didn't have an appointment, but I got in to see um, one of the ladies there right away. Uh, I was just kind of doing some changing with my investments. And then um, I had to go to the license center, which is where you go to like renew registrations or driver's license or anything like that. I happened to have to go in to uh, file for our company, like our, our oil field company. So I had to just, I don't know, I had to go in there and pay money and say that we're still a company, I guess. And I'm like, oh, of course I pick the last Friday of the month to go to the registry office because that's when everybody's renewing their driver's license, renewing their renewing their vehicle registration because in Alberta, your registration and your insurance are different. So I'm like, oh no, it's going to be crazy. But it really wasn't that bad. Uh, I had to wait a little bit just because there was um, not everybody does the company like the corporate stuff so I had to wait a little bit for a lady that did that but the lineup wasn't bad like it was going super fast and I'm like wow this is you know this is pretty good for for the last Friday of the month but it was the morning and I got out of town before noon which was awesome so anyway um that was my Friday Saturday we had a birthday party and then yesterday we just kind of chilled um we didn't do too much we had I had uh, my husband's friends, kids come over because this is something that I hate doing is cleaning our chicken coop. I don't know if you've ever had to clean a chicken coop, especially after it's been sitting all winter. <laughs> I'm, I'm horrible. I'm so horrible, but it's the most disgusting job for me. Like I will clean out the litter box. I will clean puke. Like yesterday, my toddler puked all over me, which was so fun. You know, I'll clean up dog poop. I'll do all that stuff, but the chicken coop, that's where I draw the line. <laughs> I know, weird, right? So uh, they came over and they helped clean the chicken coop. They're like around picking up kind of stuff all over the yard because there's a little bit of garbage here and there from from the winter. So they came in over, came over and helped do that. And oh, uh, we accumulated a new like mini quad, like a kid's quad. So my four-year-old was all over the yard driving into stuff with that thing and there's no reverse on those quads so she would drive up to something but then she can't turn so then I have to like move it so that she can get around it and I'm like oh what a pain but she had lots of fun driving through the mud puddles if you are a personal friend of mine check out my story from yesterday I've got like a bunch of clips of videos of her driving her quad everywhere so and oh, on, on my Instagram, I put them on my, I think I put them on my Instagram. I can't remember. Anyway, if you're not following me on Instagram, at Pam Marie B, exactly how it is here on, on my Facebook page. Uh-oh, did you drop your milk? Oh, well, you aren't drinking it anyway. <laughs> my toddler's still super sick. Got runny nose and coughing and everything. And so uh, sleep hasn't been my friend lately, but... We're working through it, slowly but surely. Anyway, getting into the motivation part of my Monday morning motivation uh, live video here. It's hard to stay, like how do you stay motivated? Like for a day, whatever, for a month, it might be a little bit harder, but for like a whole quarter of the year, how do you stay motivated, right? So I know people that like to do they like to watch um, 
like YouTube videos. Like there's a lot, there's so many like motivational YouTube videos. Um, I personally, I, I like to do some meditation in the morning that usually helps me can, kind of get motivated for the day. Um, like just on a daily basis, but monthly, it's hard to like keep that fire going, right? Like how do you keep that fire going day after day after day for 30 days? And something that I, I like to do, and granted, I don't do it every day for 30 days because um, it's just, you know, you need to rest once in a while. Like uh, yesterday morning, I, I gave myself some rest. I slept in. Uh, I still allowed myself some time for my meditation and my journaling before the kids woke up. So th those are those are my consistence. Like I, I just started journaling not that long ago. And I, if you recall, there was a post a couple weeks ago about journaling. You know, when do you journal? What do you journal about? And I was listening to a podcast not too long ago, but a month ago. And she was like, well, this is how I journal. And she journals to basically set the intention for the day. So she does it in the morning. So she writes out <clears throat> a bunch of things she's grateful for. I usually pick about five or six. Um, if you are reading The Magic, then it's ten. Um, but I do five or six a day, sometimes ten, depending on how much time I have, if I have some time to write a few more. And then I write out at least three to five affirmations that I'm going to concentrate for the day. So I write them down and then I like repeat them over and over in my head like a bunch of times so that they're like ingrained in my brain for the day. Um, if you need to have it, like I usually have my journal out on my desk behind me. So if I'm passing by my desk, I look down, they're there and it's just an, another reminder of those affirmations for my day. Uh, another thing that I journal each morning is I set my intention for the day. So today I intend to do this. Today I intend to feel this. Today I intend to receive, you know, this. So like today I said, today I intend to feel grateful, you know, or today I intend to do, or I don't say do, but today I intend to clean my house you know it doesn't have to be something related to business it could be something that you've had on your plate for a while and you're like all right enough's enough let's get this stuff done right so uh was it yesterday I put today I intend to clean my kitchen and I did I cleaned my kitchen finally oh it was a mess from being gone for like five or six days or whatever we were gone to Calgary for and my husband was home and he was working so it was just it was such a disaster it was like a friggin' hurricane blew up in there so I'm like, okay, I have to clean my kitchen. It's so gross. So I cleaned my kitchen yesterday. Yay. Um, and then for today, I tend to receive, you know, abundance. I am allowing abundance to flow into my life. Uh, yesterday I put, I intend to receive love, you know, and every time my four-year-old, she's like, mommy, I love you. And I'm like, oh, I love you too. You know, and you just stand there and you hug each other for a while and you give her a little kiss on the forehead and and she goes and does her thing. But she did that, I don't know, like four or five times yesterday. Normally it's, you know, a couple times. But she was like super, super loving. Which, you know, I'm super grateful for that she loves her mommy. And she loves her daddy. And she loves her sister. And of course she loves her new quad. <laughs> but I digress. So that's something, you know, if you if you can do something like a, something that gets you going in the morning. And you have your routine, like a meditation and a journaling that can set you up for, you know, being motivated for a month. But what about a whole quarter, 90 days? We do in our in our business, so the people that I am kind of in the same affiliate marketing business with, we do stuff, we do things called 90-day sprints. Well, pick it up. Go pick it up. And when a 90-day sprint is, for 90 days, you're like, okay, this is what I'm going to do for 90 days. Whether we have the, the five pillars, which the stuff that we did on our last 90-day sprint from like beginning of November, there was a lot. And for somebody that's never done a sprint before, it was a lot of stuff to do every day if you're not used to it. So my suggestion, if you're going to do something like a 90-day sprint is pick like three or four things that you're going to do consistently every day for those 90 days. Then it'll be part of your routine and you won't even have to think about it. 
But then, so you do those things, but then you also have a group of people. So like anywhere from five to 10 or 15 people that you have in a little group that you mastermind with. So you talk to them every day, whether you talk on the phone or you go on a Zoom call or a Skype call, you talk to somebody every day. This is what I'm doing today or this is what I've done today. Um, depending on who's in your group, you can have your calls in the morning. Um, sometimes we had our calls around noon or so because that's when my littlest one went down for a nap and it was just easier for me to concentrate. And sometimes it's in the evening. So it's just holding each other accountable for the things that you've said you're going to do. And then even like proving that that's what you're going to do. So say to get more comfortable on video, you're going to do a live video or some sort of video, um, whether it's just recorded or a live video for those 90 days, just to get yourself more comfortable in front of, in front of the camera. You don't, if it's just recorded, you don't have to post it, but say you could say, Hey, I did this video and you just, you upload it to YouTube or something under a private link and you send it to them. Hey, I did this video. And then even you could ask for constructive feedback from that accountability group. Um, or you could post like, I have an accountability group for my gratitude every day. So now that I'm journaling, I take a picture of my journal and I post it to that group. So depending on what you're doing, whether you're reading or you're, like I said, you're journaling gratitude, um, you're listening to podcasts or some sort of audiobook, uh, if you want to work out every day, those are the people that are going to hold you accountable. So you post a picture of like your friggin' sweaty selfie. Hey, I worked out today, 20 minutes on the elliptical or whatever it is that you need to do. But f I know 90 days is a long stretch. But at the end of those 90 days, just think of the momentum that you've created in your life and the motivation that you have to keep going after you've gone that far. Hi. Yeah, drink your water. <laughs> She's got her sister's water. She's trying to get water out of it. <laughs> so basically, what about the... Sam, that's not my department. That is all you, buddy. <laughs> Hate to break it to you. That has nothing to do with my motivation. <laughs> anyway, I love and appreciate you all. I'm going to sign off on that point. Thank you, Sam. Uh, I hope you all have a great week, and I will see you here uh, next week on Monday, 9 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Thank you so much. See you next week.